guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I have a bag review today for my freshly picked diaper bag. This is in the full size. It does come in a mini size as well. And I got the color called Butterscotch. It is a vegan faux leather and it has a nice pebbling detail on there if you can see. It also has gold hardware. So this bag was sort of a replacement for my fawn design bag. I had a black fawn design bag that I ha I carried all the time actually with my son um, and in general you know anytime we went out and sometimes I would just use it as a handbag for myself but I had that bag just over three years I really liked it I actually bought it pre-owned and I really enjoyed it for a little over three years but I knew it was time to get something new because I like to try new bags and uh, you know just see what's out there so I had been eyeing this freshly picked bag for a while and I recently sold my Fawn Design, and I got this one, and I'm really happy with it so far. I've been using it for about a week straight as a work bag, and what my plan is for it is to continue using it as a work bag. And also, in the summer, uh, I have Fridays off of work. So Fridays, my son and I will go on adventures, as we always do, and of course, Saturday and Sunday as well. So I really like it a lot. Um, again, the color is Butterscotch. I debated between this and the black one, but since my fawn design was black, I decided to go with this one. So I wanted to do kind of a real quick review, what I have inside, kind of short, sweet, and to the point, because um, there's a lot of reviews on this bag on YouTube. I also wanted to share with you guys how it looks on the body in this video. So there are three technical ways you can carry this bag. So one is the grab handle option, which I use just kind of more just to pick it up. I don't, I wouldn't really carry it like this, but you technically could. It also has the shoulder strap, which also can be adjusted to be worn crossbody. And again, I'll show you it on the body after I'm done with this review. It also has sort of an optional backpack strap. So you can actually detach this right here and you can tuck the backpack straps into this magazine pocket in the back if you don't wanna carry it backpack style. So each side has large bottle pockets. Now there is a pocket on the inside of this bag that if it's full, it makes this tight. So I'll show you what I mean in a minute when I get there, but both sides have a large bottle pocket. The front pocket here runs the whole length of the bag. And currently I've been just keeping in here a little notebook, my phone, I just have the Galaxy S9 until my upgrade and then I'm gonna get the Galaxy S10. I have my little Louis six ring key holder that I've had for I think about four years and I absolutely love this. So keys and phone fit in here perfectly with room to spare and it zips just fine. It has a flap closure with like a little magnetic button and it does have the option on the top opening to snap shut so you can snap it but I just have been keeping it open just because it's a little bit easier access. The zipper with this little tassel runs all the way across the top and this is, I think it holds more than the Fawn Design. Um, that's just from what I've been packing in here all week, I think it holds more. So, okay, this bottle pocket here, guys, this is a 17 or either 17 or 20 ounce swell, swell bottle. I've had this for years, and but it's a pretty large bottle. It's either seven, I think it's a 17 ounce, but I wanted to show you that this pocket here on this side, the inner pocket, has like a lining in here, like an insulated lining to keep your drinks cold or whatever you have in there cold. But like I mentioned earlier, if you put the bottle in there, it makes this outside pocket tight. So since nothing is in here now, this bottle, this swell bottle, will slide right in here just like that. So it's just your choice. You can choose to keep it obviously on the outside or on the inside. So I'm gonna take that out for now. The other side has a pocket across, but it's not insulated. It's just like a regular pocket. And in here I have my son's little nine ounce swell bottle uh, with water. And these are great because they keep your beverages um, hot or cold for a long time. And I've used both of these for years and they work really well. So that's what I had in those two. This zippered pocket here on the back, 
I just keep two little pouches. The first one has some earbuds and um, a cleaning cloth for either myself or my son if we need earbuds for like a phone or an iPad or something. I also have a small Jujube set piece and here I have coupons and I have overflow like punch cards and reward cards, things that I don't want bulking up my wallet going here. This pocket here, guys, is like a media pocket. You could fit an iPad, which I have in here. You could fit a laptop. It's really good. You could actually fit a laptop vertically in here, but right now I have some Kleenex wet wipes. I carry wipes with me all the time, even when my son is not with me. I actually eat a lot in my car because I work two jobs, so I'm usually sometimes eating lunch in my car on my way to my second job. So I keep these in here all the time. And then also in here I have my iPad. Uh, our, we have three iPads um, in our household, so my son and I have the iPad Air um, 3, I think, or 2, and this is a full-size, like, 9.5 inch iPad, and it fits in this pocket perfectly, and it's really nice and padded. Again, you can fit a laptop in there, but it would have to go vertically, and then... Besides these two like bottle pockets, there are two more pockets here separated by a seam. I have nothing in this one. And then this one here currently I just keep my little wallet. It's actually a, it's classified as like a card holder, but I've been using this as a wallet since January. Matt got me this for my birthday in January. And I've been using it to hold my most used cards, my coin, and obviously cash. So this has been working out perfectly. And it's a perfect size. And then in here, this this I have packed because when I'm filming this, it's a weekend morning and we're actually, I'm going to be heading out with my son. So this is, this bag I would not have in here if my son wasn't with me, but I'm going to be using this bag a lot more in the summer with my son. So this is a large set piece from Jujubee and in here I just have a pair of underwear for my son, a pair of socks, I have a white t-shirt for him, and then I have like a travel size package of wipes in case he has, you know, a bathroom issue and needs to be wiped. And then this is something I keep in here all the time. This is an MZ Wallace bag, and it's kind of like, first of all, this is a big bag, guys. Like, let me show you compared to the set piece. It's pretty, it's not, I mean, it's shorter than the set piece, if you can see. But I actually think this holds more because of just the way that it's designed. So this is kind of like my everything, um, I guess, everything bag. So it's pharmacy stuff. So I've got like aspirin, tampons, nail file, um, lip gloss. I have some things for my son, lotion. I have, um, like some kids Benadryl for my son. Also in my aspirin bottle, I have kids Tylenol. I definitely have like band-aids and stuff in there. And then the other side, I've got like another pair of socks for my son. Cause I've always found, I don't know what it is about socks, but Whenever we go out, it could be like a bouncy house or a sky zone or something. We, I never have a pair of socks when I need them for my son. So now I always carry socks. Plus my son has some sensory issues and if his shoes or feet are wet, he will not keep his socks on. So I carry always a pair of dry socks with me. And I also have another one in here. And then in here is just random things. So I've got like hand sanitizer. I've got like cleaning cloth for my son's glasses. I've got like cleaning solution um, in here for my son's glasses. A random spoon. You never know, I guess. Just again, a lot of random stuff in here. And I really do honestly carry this little pouch all the time. So that is everything I have in here. I honestly had a good amount of room to still put more stuff. Um, what I will do today, for example, when we head out, Mom, my, my son, my husband and I are going to be going out for a few hours. I'll just throw some additional snacks in here. And um, if I need to bring like a separate cooler bag or something with ice water or whatever, I'll do that. But yeah, this is just working perfect for my needs. And for my work bag, you guys saw I could fit my iPad in there, which I take to work. Sometimes I'll throw a notebook in there. Sometimes I know if I'll have a little downtime, I'll throw like my meal planner in here, that kind of thing. But it's worked out really well. Um, it does have like glass or glass gold feet on the bottom to protect your, you know, the bag from touching the ground. I like the look of it a lot. So now I want to end this by showing you guys it on the body so you can get an idea of the size of the bag. All right, guys, so this is how the bag looks when you kind of just pick it up like this. 
against the body hopefully that helps just to gauge the size of it i'm about five foot three and about 155 pounds so just to kind of give you a size wise comparison when you hold it like this and then for the shoulder strap option this is what it looks like on the body like that and this is pretty much like on the shortest length that's how it looks from like a front point of view side point of view and i'm going to do it crossbody now all right guys this is the bag crossbody obviously this strap is adjustable so you can adjust it to hit higher or lower depending on your body type and your preference um, I really like it like this. It's comfortable, but I think most of the time when I'm with my son, I'm going to be wearing this backpack style, which I'm going to show you guys right now. All right, guys, so this is backpack style. Hopefully you can gauge the size from seeing it from this point of view. But I really like it. It's very comfortable to wear backpack style. The straps are comfortable like right here in my um, like armpit area, and obviously you can always adjust the straps. But yeah, that's what it looks like size-wise. Let me move back a little bit. There we go. So hopefully this helps you guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. And I know a lot of people have been eyeing this bag and kind of wondering if it was the right fit for you. But I really love it, guys. I think it's gorgeous. And I'm very happy with it. So Again, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.